Now that you be your speak, good morrow, Kate. <laughs> That's your name, I hear. Well, <laughs> have you heard but something hard of hearing? They call me Katerina, that you talk of me. Nay, yeah, you lie in faith, for you call plain Kate and Bonnie Kate, and sometimes Kate the cursed. <laughs> but Kate! <laughs> Myself am moved to woo thee for my wife. <laughs> moved? In good time, let him that moved you hither remove you hence. I knew you at the first you were unmovable. Why, what's that? <laughs> A joined stool. Thou hast hit me. Come, sit on me. Asses were made to bear, <laughs> and so are you. Well, women were made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you with me, you mean. Alas, Kate, I will not burden thee, for knowing thee to be but young and light. <laughs> <laughs> Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. Should be. Should buzz. Well taken and like a buzzer. Oh, slow winged turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? I, for a turtle, as he takes a buzzard. Come, um, come, you wasp. In faith, you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. <laughs> my remedy, then, is to pluck it out. <laughs> To its tail. In its tongue. Oh. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails. So farewell. Well, with my tongue in your tail? Great. <laughs> come again, Kate. I am a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs>
If you strike me, you are no gentleman. And if no gentleman, why then no arms? A uh, herald Kate. Ah, oh, put me in that books. What is your crest? A coxcomb? A combless cock. <laughs> so Kate will be my head. <laughs> No cock of mine, you crow too like a craven. Hey, come, Kate. Thou must not look so sour. <laughs> it is my fashion when I see a crack. <clears throat> Why, here is no crack. Oh, there Therefore, is. look not sour. There is, there is. <laughs> then show it me. <laughs> Had I a glass, I would. <laughs> You mean my face? <laughs> <laughs> well aimed of such a young one. Now by St. George, I'm too young for you. And yet you are withered. Tis who cares? I care not. Nay, hear you. In sooth, <laughs> do you speak not so? <laughs> Let me go. No! Not a wit. I find you passing gentle. Just told me you were rough. Coy. So, now I find a report of very light. For thou art pleasant. Game some. Passing courteous. Slow in speech, yet sweet as the springtime flower. Where did you study all this goodly speech? It is intemperate from my mother wit. A witty mother? <laughs> Witless else her son. Am I not wise? Yes, keep you warm. Mary, so I mean, sweet Katerina. <laughs> In thy bed? No. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, setting all this chat aside, thus in plain terms, your father hath consented that you shall be my wife, your dowry agreed upon. And will you nill you, I will marry you. <laughs> and now, Kate, I am a husband for your turn. Thou shalt marry no man but me, for I am he born to tame you, Kate. <laughs> Here comes your father. Never make denial, for I must and will have Katerina to be my wife. Oh! Now, Signor Petruchio, how speed you with my boy? How well, 